Hello and welcome back to my channel, Glory to Jesus, Honor to Mary and Joseph. Susan Cruz got goosebumps when she discovered a decorative crown adorned with 12 stars in the basement of St. Hyacinth Parish in Detroit. The treasured piece of local church history at the east side Detroit Parish was once considered a long lost piece of parish law. The headpiece for the parish Immaculata statue, a forgotten gem from a tumultuous time. It is the original headpiece from when she was at the main altar at Immaculate Conception Church in Detroit. Crocs, a sacristan at St. Hyacinth, told Detroit Catholic, she has been with, without it for 40 years and it's about time she got it back. The crown was restored to its proper place on top of the statue and was unveiled to parishioners following the parish's May crowning on May 8. Immaculate Conception Parish had its headpiece restored on May 5th after the parish's May crowning ceremony. The crown dated back to when the statue was located in the main altar of Immaculate Conception Parish and went missing after the statue was moved to St. High Saint following the closure of Immaculate Conception Parish. The Immaculate statue was built in 1920 by Paul Landowski, who also created the famous 98 feet, feet Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The statue adored the main altar of Immaculate Conception until the parish was demolished in 1981 to make way for the General Motors Detroit ham trunk plant. It was a tense time for the Paul Town community. We process and even they sit in at Immaculate Conception, but the parishioners eventually give way, though not before the parish's famed Immaculate statue was rescued and moved to neighboring St. High Saint. The statue was placed in a niche in the church where a confessional used to be, along with stands display news along with stands displaying news articles chronicling Immaculate Conception's history, a reminder of what was lost and what has been saved. The statue meant a lot to parishioners who came in here and adopted St. High Saint as their ho new home after Immaculate Conception was torn down. It is only out of the fairness and respect toward them that you restore her to her original statue, original beauty. Revelation 12, describing the Blessed Mother as standing on the crown, wearing a, standing on the moon, wearing a crown with 12 stars. But the original crown, a reference to the Revelation 12, describing a woman wearing a crown with 12 stars, standing on the moon, went missing, seemingly lost to history. Lost until Cruz did some scrunching through St. Hyacinth's basement, coming across other treasures that are now being incorporated into daily use at the parish. The crown was found in an area left by the wayside. I understand when the statues came, she was without a crown. I don't know who put the crown where I found it, but for the first several months, I have been finding things in the basement. We recently found the ambry, the box where she, you keep your holy oils that was recently installed directly behind the tabernacle. Parishioners stayed after us to take pictures of the Immaculata statue, now adorned with her crown, reflecting on the history of the Immaculate Conception, St. Hyacinth and other tales and treasures that made the history of Paul Town unique. It means a lot to people, but I question why it wasn't done 40 years ago. I'm new to the church here. Six or seven years ago, I came from Shelby Township, but I know what belongs in the church and the proper etiquette for church artifacts. We are so glad to have the crown restored back to where it belongs. This is mysterious for the crown to be seen after 40 years. And she says she doesn't know who kept it. Ave.